Good evening everyone <coughs> and welcome back to another flight. Uh, this one was supposed to be done on Monday, the bank holiday, but if anyone who checked Discord, um, we basically had to um, say goodbye to dog uh Jerry um on uh Tuesday so I spent some time with him on when on uh, Monday rather before going back to work. Um so yeah we're doing the flight tonight. Oh there's a few people coming out of Madrid. Uh Rob will be flying with us as well. Uh, Rob's just there at the gate next to me. We'll be taking off at uh, three six left, and then why is it not? Why is it not zooming out? And then I've picked this um, departure. So we're heading sort of north of Spain. Um, I've not really been to um, Spain as such. Well, I've been to Malaga and Alicante, which is down here. Uh, and then pretty much north, uh, across some of the sea there. And then uh, this is like France. And then we'll go like over Southampton, the UK, um, and then this is our approach just after Leicester, um, into Manchester. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything. I've got a notification. Bear with me, guys. Oh, Rob's Rob's in the group. So yeah, that's all good. Uh, we're on the North Europe server, if anyone who wants to join. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. We're doing live weather, um, nav log, they're cruising at 37,000 feet. And this is our descent waypoint, which we've already made note of. Um, so yeah. Uh, without further ado, we'll get into the same. Let me know if you're there, Rob. Let me know if you're there, Rob. Let me know. And then we can crack on. So I need... I have my manual. For the A320. I just I just have it at the side of me in case I need it. Um, just you know, it's becoming less and less frequent. Um, but yeah, I've got to tell you guys is oh the house is just really really quiet, really quiet, too quiet without him. Yeah, strange feeling. So, there's my aircraft, Ryanair. Uh, I think Rob's just to the right of me. I think he is. He should be. Let me have a look. Oh, there. But is that you, Rob? Oh, bloody hell, we're through each other. I'll be right. I think we're together, Rob. Um, but yeah, I think I think that's Rob at the side of me. Anyway, let me know, Rob. Let's just get all started up. Right. <laughs> so let's begin our checklist. Sorry, guys. It is warm today here in the UK. Pretty ironic, Rob's got like thunderstorms and here in the UK we've got like 
I think it's 20, what is it now, 20, I think it was 24, but obviously that's mild for Rob. Oh, it's 21 now, so it's sort of cooling down. Yeah. Right, <laughs> so let's um, get our climb altitude and things. Barajas clearance delivery, Jody 123 IFR to Manchester, ready to copy. Jody 123 is cleared to Manchester Airport as filed. Take off runway tree, 6 left climb, and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure frequency is 118.275, squawk tree, tree 72. Jody 123 cleared to Manchester Airport as filed. Take off runway tree, 6 left climb, and maintain 8,000 feet. Departure on 118.275, squawk tree tree 72. Jody 123, read back correct. Contact ground on 123.155. Good day. So there we are, we've got us climb altitude, which is 8,000 feet. We've put the flight director on, and we've put the altimeter on. We've reset that. So we'll do. Um, Get some light on the subject. Let me know if you're there, Rob. Hang on, guys. I'll just send him a message. Uh, he might have internet issues, but we'll see. Um. Yeah. Um. Right. Okay. So we need to do. Performance. Oh, good, Rob. Yeah, I was just making sure because she hadn't said. Yeah, I think you're at the side of me. Uh, flaps. Oh, it was at the side of me. He was at the side of me. There was a Ryanair there. It might be spawning back in. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll start the engine actually. Right. <coughs> Right, so what we're doing now, so we need to do the flight plan. Let's get the flight plan on for us for Manchester. Um, then we need the flaps at 10%, which they are. Uh, speed brakes. Um, Set any lights that we need, so we'll do. Oh, there's another takeoff there. Hey, up. Nice. He's just taken. Oh, no, he's landing. Sorry, he's coming down. Yeah, he's landing here at Madrid. Anyway, back to what we were doing. Getting distracted. Um. So let's put the lights on the plane. Uh, a scope, runway lights, beacon lights, we don't need landing yet. Wing lights, nav lights, and taxi lights. We'll put the seatbelt signs on, non-smoking flight. Um, what else have we forgotten? That's that, that's that. Just have to do the last little bit of uh, starting the engine. This little bit here. So yeah, we're all we're all set up. 
the departure. Uh, let's see where Rob is. Rob, oh bloody hell, he's already there. Bloody hell, eager beaver, Rob. Um, so we'll ask our Colleen away, and I didn't even know where he was. Let's get pushed back. Barras, ground Jody 123 requesting pushback. Jody 123, pushback request accepted. I'm coming, Rob. Oh, so we need to go. So, right where you are. Oh, it's a bit busy. And, uh, why is my aeroplane going back? My tongue's not done it. That was a bit weird that that tongue didn't attach. Oh, there we go. There we go, that, that's a bit weird, that didn't do it, but whatever. Yeah, whatever reverse is on. Yeah, it's not, yeah, bloody hell. <coughs> it's right. Barajas, ground Jody 123 requesting the end of pushback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jody 123 request to end pushback received. Barajas, ground Jody 123 with Sierra ready to taxi IFR. Jody 123 taxi to and hold short of runway 36 left using taxiway Echo Alpha Golf November Bravo November Zulu. Contact tower on 118 decimal 9 or 8 when ready. Taxi 2 and hold short runway tree 6 left using taxiway Echo Alpha Golf November Bravo November Zulu Jody 1 2 3. Right, I'm coming. Oh, there's another one there. That's climbing. Nice. There's that one's like part of the game, sort of. Right, I'm coming Rob. Let me know, are you taking off first or am I? Because somehow you always bloody make it before me. God knows how. We'll let off the brakes too. Alright, yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, it'd be a bit dodgy that. Uh, 
finish him up. Is it ladies first tonight, Rob? Still bloody make it before me, Rob. You always do. God knows how. He's got some sort of secret. I oh got God knows. Right, let me um, just slow down a bit so they know we're taxiing. Tower Jody 123 and runway 36 left, ready for departure IFR to Manchester. Jody 123, altimeter 30, decimal 00, wind Just go to a um, zebra crossing. Whatever it is. We'll do final checks. And um, we'll get out of here. And then Rob will uh, take off behind us. Right, let me just do a final check. So that's fine, Altimidator, we need to take off all lights there. Oh, we need those lights here as well. Hang on. There we go. Right, so we're already taxi. There we go. So let's uh, let's get out of here.
just making this turn here now, we'll just watch it because sometimes it goes a bit weird. By the time we get to Manchester it should be so light because you know we've <coughs> we've uh, we're having longer nights in the light but we'll see. The uh, flight time is is it about two, three hours, something like that, from Madrid to Manchester, I'm not too sure. I think it's about two, three hours. I think it's about two hours. Something like that. Hello, Daniel. How are you? Long time no see. Hopefully, you're all well. Unit 123 climb and maintain flight level 270. We've just taken off from Madrid. Climb and maintain uh, flight level 270, Johnny 123. Just climb. Yeah, Rob is behind me, so, um, yeah, <laughs> chip shop. Yeah, but bait is, bait is not bloody scraps. Right, let's, um, get rid of that. There we are, now she's turning. Nice. Rob's just, where the hell is Rob? Rob's somewhere, oh, Rob's there. Yeah, Rob's there. Yeah, I don't know if you knew Daniel, but you know, Jerry had to... We had to say bye to Jerry on um, Tuesday, unfortunately, he was poorly. I don't know if you can remember me talking about Jerry. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to do this flight on Monday on the bank holiday, but I just thought I want to, you know, spend time with him. No, it ain't scraps. It's bits. Bloody hell, I've got to come find you in bloody Queensbury, me. And say, it's bloody bits, not scraps. So we're all good now, we're climbing, um, and let's change as ND range to that, that's fine. Well, I'll still find you, Daniel, I'll still find you, <laughs> and I'll say it is bits, not scraps. Yeah, it, it was sad, you know, and I'm not, you know, I'm not 100%, but God, the house is just too quiet without him, and, you know, all his things, and, you know, we've kept his collar, and, you know, it's just, and even his brush and his toys smell of him, and, but, yeah, Daniel, he was just poor He were he were blind in one of his eyes and one other eye would go in. Johnny one two three um, climb and maintain flight know. level tree tree zero. Let's just climb the aircraft. Climb and maintain flight level tree tree zero, Jody one two three. Yeah. I didn't think I'd feel this deeply about it. Um, him going, but you know, because my grandma and granddad had a dog when I was well, they had her when I was born, 
and she practically like she followed me everywhere she were like a guardian um, you know, she she was always by my side and stuff when I was a baby. She died when I was about eight. Yeah. Um. Oh God, there was there were all sorts wrong with him. Bless him. <laughs> he was going blind in one of his eyes and. One of his eyes he wore blind so he couldn't really see what he was doing, he was walking into stuff. He had arthritis so he couldn't stand up for long periods of time. And we have a laminate flooring so he used to like, just like fall onto the ground and just like bam me on ice and you know and what else. Um, you know, his, his toilet habits as well, he just couldn't control himself and he was sick and he was sick all the time and you know, he, he just, and he, he was underweight as well, he was underweight, so yeah, it were, obviously it was a hardest decision to, you know, let him go and stuff, but, you know, it was the best option for him, um, because it, it'd have only got worse, and, you know, the, the vet gave us some time with him, we had a week and a bit, I think it was, to, you know, just, you know, spend some time with him and stuff, because, you know, some uh, some animals go to vets and like, oh god, we've climb got to do it now. Climb, level tree seven zero. climb and maintain flight level tree seven zero, Jody one two three. Three seven zero. Right, I'm going to cruising altitude, Rob. Yeah, we didn't want him suffering. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, like some animals, you take them to vets and they're like, oh, we can't do all for them, we've got to do it now. So I'm sort of thankful that we had like them days with him, like a week and a bit with him, you know, to say, you know, to say bye to him and, you know, just prepare for it because sometimes it is a shock. Um, you know, sometimes, uh, yeah, it, it obviously is sad, you know, when I went to work on Tuesday, it was like the hardest thing in the world, it was a hard, it was really, really hard saying bye to him, you know, and I just cried at work, and you know, I came home and he wasn't there and I, I, you know, I just burst into tears, I just knew he'd gone. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's not in pain anymore, so that's the main thing. Even though he's a bugger, but, yeah, you just miss him now because, you know, the house is too quiet and, you know, you just think, oh, I used to do this, or I used to do that, you know, I was making me tea and he used to be, you know, around feet and, you know, being a pest and, you know, but, yeah, he's, 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 um, he's pain free and that's all that matters, yeah. Where's Rob? Robert, why is there? Oh, it's going that way. The DL. He always goes a different way to me. Um, how long did we have him for? Um, we had him for eight years. It had been eight years in June, so just short of eight years. Uh, it was 14, so a pretty good age for a dog. Um, it was 14. Um, before we had him eight years ago, 
It was with a family. Um, she had children, but she was having more children, so that's why, you know, she gave him to us, because, you know, she didn't have no time for him, really. Um, <laughs> but before that, um, it was in the dog's trust, uh, so God knows what happened, you know, to him in early life. I don't really want to know, but, you know, the way I see it is that at, at the end, he was deeply loved. You know, my grandparents were there and he had, he had comfort and he had somebody loving him at the end when he needed it. Um, you know, in his early life, he might have been, you know, he might have been abused, he might have been dumped, he might have been... You know, and you were in a you were in a dog shelter, so for part of his life, he were just you know it was obviously unwanted till you know till this woman got him. So yeah, he was he was fourteen, um, but yeah, I've I've, um, I've had a charm uh, made in his honour. Uh, I made like a, well, I sent off for it. There's a picture of him on one side on charm, and then his name on the other side. Yeah, yeah, he had eight years with us, and he was loved, and he was wanted, and you know, we we have the memories. Um, you know, last night we were talking about him and. You know, just reminiscing, really. Um, yes, yeah, you know, I'm a bit quiet at work for the time being. But I did tell them at work. I uh, told Carla, someone who I work with. So she she knows what's you know what's happening and stuff. But um, yeah, um, I feel. Obviously not better, but, you know, I feel better than what I did on Tuesday. Tuesday I just felt, I was just heartbroken. But, yeah. But, you know, it was just, it was quick for him as well. He was, he was not in any pain, and that's the main thing. You know, my grandparents said it was less than a minute for him, and it was just like falling asleep. Yeah, because what it is, is um, it's the overdose, it's an overdose of the anaesthetic. So what they did was obviously they put a cannula in his paw, and they injected like anaesthetic, but they did it as an overdose and that's what it is that's what puts them to sleep um, and alter, al you know d obviously it makes them pass away as well so yeah my granddad said you know he was holding his paw and cuddling him and you know a vet said we'll, we'll check his heartbeat after 30 seconds and there were no heartbeats, so it had gone, you know, so they were, they were at peace. You wouldn't have felt anything, you wouldn't have known. Um, my granddad just said he, would fall, he, he just fell asleep, you know, as he would, laid down and um, just rolled his eyes, and you know, when you fall asleep. That's what, that's what happened, really. So it, it'd have been... It'd have been none the wiser. Bless him. But yeah, I've got my charm in his honour. And um, I've also got a design coming on the way. I'm making a cross-stitch um, in his honour as well. Um, 
so I'm going to do that and put it in a mech kit in, into a cross stitch and put it up on in house somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah at least it wasn't in, you know, excruciating pain and vet were like saying oh god we've got to do it now and you know it wasn't like that, it was just you know the vet said you know we have options but the best option is to let him go um, because it, it just would have got worse you know I think he wasn't in pain but I think he was in discomfort and that's you know that's why we did it because we didn't want that discomfort to turn into like suffering and pain so yeah and you know obviously we go to doctors and they tell us what's wrong with us he all these things were happening to him like he was losing weight he was losing his eyesight they were having accidents like toilet accidents on a night um, it was sick and obviously we can go to doctors and get told what's wrong with us but obviously he didn't understand what was happening to his body and you know we couldn't tell him what was happening and you know it, it was just a case of we didn't want him to suffer and you know get to that point when he was just you know when he was just beyond beyond help and you know we didn't want it to be that way that we took him to the vets and we were like oh we've got to do it now we did it at the right time for him yeah time off. Oh bloody hell, lucky bugger time off. Lucky bugger. Where's Rob? Where's there? Rob's gone to the left somewhere. Excuse me. Uh, right now I'm in LA and other than that just been chilling out. Yeah, nice. Nice weather as well, Daniel, for you, is, um, you know, it's bloody warm, bloody sun's like shining in window now, and it's just, it's just not roasting, but, you know, it's just nice, yeah, yeah, that's what I did on my day off, to be fair. I just chill out and just go with flow and do whatever, whatever I fancy. But my next time off is uh, end of May for the other bank holiday. I've got the Monday off and the Tuesday off, but Tuesday I've got plans. Described it pleasant, I think. Eh, uh, pleasant. Yeah, you could. Ah, uh. right, so have we made our yeah, where's Rob? is there. So we're just north of Spain. Alright, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's pleasant, but 
I don't, I like it like this, you know, when there's like a breeze. I can't stand it when there's no breeze and it's just like, oh my god, you can't escape it. Like America. Oh god, it's like stepping in an oven. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just nice now, you know, just nice evening. Yeah. What time are we due at Manchester? Oh, by the way, Rob, I'm going into zero five left. Um, and I'm due at nineteen twenty nine. Uh, oh yeah, when it's stuff it, my God, that's like the worst thing ever. That when you can't, you can't escape it, it's just, oh god, and sleeping as well, that's just horrible, yeah, but I had my woolly pyjamas on last night, because it was quite cool last night, uh, we'll see, well, we've taken the hoodie off, if anyone who knows me, I've taken the hoodie off. I always wear a hoodie. I've taken the hoodie off. Uh, that's how warm it is. I didn't go to work with the coat on either. Um, and I'll just see what crack is later. Whether or not to put my woolly pyjamas on or my short pyjamas. Probably the short pyjamas. But we'll see. We shall see. So yeah, um, I was thinking as well guys, is that um, what I was aiming, oh, let me just see why is it turning, oh yeah we're meant to be turning, okay. Um, what I was thinking as well guys is um, do like a flight during the week either a Tuesday or a Thursday evening um, you know like a short flight like maximum two hours something like that um, and then when when and then like days off do a longer flight or at the weekend do a longer flight because um, I do want to get them hours in it says 10 degree bloody hell it's going to drop then isn't it it's what is it now is it like 21 now but the sun's still up in it so yeah so that's my plan guys is that you know, do a little bit of flying during the week, like an hour, an hour or two, and then, um, no worries Rob, no worries. We're going over ocean anyway. There's Rob, Rob's over there, let's have a nose eh? Yeah, that's that's my idea. Is uh, do like a little short flight uh, during the week, and then do a longer, a longer one maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday. Maybe Sunday, depending what day I go food shopping. Uh, on my phone, it says. On my phone right now, it says. It's 21. On my watch it says... ...21. Must be cooler where you are, um, Daniel. But you're not that much... 
far away from where I am anyway. Um, like, probably about an hour. I've driven through where you live, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you are. You're up higher, aren't you? Yeah, that's true, yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it does say 17, yeah. Yeah, I've just Googled it. So, yeah, you're about 35 minute drive away for me, uh, Daniel. Yeah. I've driven through um, where you live. But I think I drove through, I drove through when it was, yeah, that were it when we had that really bad snow and we couldn't get, we couldn't go anywhere. Yeah, we get we get snow where further down the road it could be raining. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, typical British weather. Absolute typical. So I'll just show you some views outside, even though it is ocean. Flight level 370. Jody 123, Breast Center radar. Contact continue to pop up. Cheeky bugger. Absolute cheeky bugger. Absolute cheeky bugger. I thought she was already bonkers. The bloody cheek of it. Manchester already in sight for me. Eh? He's obvious he's obviously got like Manchester Airport open on his laptop being funny bugger or something. Little shit. It's always pick on Jody. Right. Let's um open this ND range because we've got a a large chunk here. Just ignore my co-pilot, my first officer, Daniel. In ignore him. No, we just call it bits because it is bits. Bloody hell. Cheeky sod. Cheeky buggers. Right. Um, which room we're from? Are you out of curiosity? Well, he's. What the, the hell is he going over there for? 23 right. Eh? 23. Oh, bloody hell, where's my notes there? 23 right. Oh, screw. Alright, oh, okay. 23 right. Yeah, I'm at uh, zero 05 left.
Looks like he's going different way altogether, bloody hell. Oh well, he'll, he'll still bloody beat me, God knows why. What? Well, why didn't you tell me that, Rob? Yeah, well, I just saw that they were using... 05. Oh god, the plane's rocking a bit. It got some turbulence. Yeah, he probably has, Daniel. He always bloody finds short bloody cuts. I flew with him on Saturday and he was waiting for me like bloody. How long were it, Rob? And don't exaggerate. Probably about 15 minutes on tarmac, <laughs> waiting for me to land. Yeah, yeah, sim brief, yeah. Yeah, I don't do sim brief though, I do the whatever the in-game, because I don't have sim brief on this plane, I don't have the tablet. Once I do the tablet in the A320, hopefully, fingers crossed, someone might show me how, hint, hint, um, we might be on the same thing. Bloody hell. Oh, captains, 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 alright. He thinks he's a captain, Daniel, but he ain't. I'm boss, I'm lady, so you know they always say woman woman's always boss. <laughs> what the hell is new activity mean? So I'm not too sure where to fly next, obviously somewhere from Manchester. I should have retired from flying after that fantastic landing. <laughs> oh bloody hell, well I had to bloody manual landing, I were horrible and everybody were watching me Daniel, they were every he had bloody camera on me and I'm like oh shit I don't want to fuck up now. Excuse my language. I was like, oh, don't, don't mess up, don't mess up, don't mess up. Bloody hell, bloody scraps. There's our Robert. I always argue with Jodis, she seems to like it. Cheeky sod. Absolute cheeky sod. I'll just call him Robert because I know it pisses him off. down to 360. Where's me? Hang on, where's me? 
Yeah, three six zero. Uh, why would you drop altitude? Oh no. Yeah, U P A L O. It says flight level three six zero, but we're not at descent there. What's the point? Because it'll only tell me to go bloody back up. When Jody makes captain for Parasox Airlines, then I can put it in my retirement paperwork. Can't be asked after that happens. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, we should have a celebration flight, Rob, when I get captain. Like, I don't know, like, go or do sort of a celebration flight. Thank God she made it without no crashes. It's still over there. Oh no, there's a few people behind us. A few people at the side of me. There's a few in front of me. So yeah, we're a bit, you know, we're a bit alright. Let's have a camera there so we can keep it out of I'll fly up. I R L to the UK so I can visit the chip shop that Daniel talks about. Ah, well we should all go and I'll just say it's a bit not scrapped. Yeah, 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 no, in real life. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh god, his pen is just dropped, I'll fly in real life, I-R-L, oh god, yeah, I thought you meant like Ireland or something, like where the bloody hell are you going to Ireland for? <coughs> yeah, you better book your ticket, Rob, because... I'm up to, I think I'm like 100 and, 101 hours or something like What? <laughs> it will be a clan, what? What does that mean? Clandestine, what does that mean? I don't know what that means, Rob, you know I'm shit with words. Oh, secret. I'm not bloody posh, bloody hell. You're posh calling it bloody scraps. Daniel's first date, maybe. Bless. They don't invite a lady out, do they? Cheeky buggers. Exactly, because next thing you know, what? 
the Mel will suddenly show up and eat half the shop. <laughs> oh. I'm guessing Amelia wants to go to the chip shop. Oh god. <laughs> Dodgy McDonald's. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, Dodgy McDonald's. God help us. <laughs> 20 nuggets. Actually, yeah, we get 20 nuggets. Obviously, I don't eat all 20 nuggets, but... Yeah, it's saying money is 20 nuggets. When me and my sisters used to go, when we like went to cinema or summer, instead of like getting individual meals, we used to get like 20 chicken nuggets to share between us, and then we just got three portions of separate chips, and it worked out cheaper. Yeah, where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The hell is way out, man. Where the hell are we, Rob? Can you tell us off map? I'm guessing we're going up the English Channel. Uh, after that, I'd have tied out in the Imperial War Museum. Oh nice, I've never been actually. Never been. Never been, but yeah, I'd um uh smart ass. You're in the air. Little shit bag. Can see my um descent waypoint anyway. Ah so What is it? Pick on Jody Day? Well, every day is pick on Jody Day, let's face it. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. We are heading towards Southampton. Southampton is just in front of us. Rob's going the scenic route like what I did on Saturday. And he'll be probably going by Manchester, I'm guessing. Yeah, you only pick on me when I'm streaming. Yeah, no, no, bloody hell, Rob. On Saturday, them, them views were amazing. That's why we took the extra view. The extra scenic route. It was all part of my plan to see all the um, sights and bloody hell. Nice, nice scenery. 
Yeah, if you get a chance, Daniel, watch that bat, bloody hell. We're definitely a nice um, scenery. I'm taking the most direct route to Mount. Alright. Need to make the most of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what I thought, Daniel, is more, more hours in air, closer to Captain, in it. So, yeah, not complaining. What is Sim Reef is a woman? Oh god, here we go. Bloody sexist. And since I'm supposed to listen, what else am I supposed to do? Oh, witter, witter, witter. That's what men version would be. Witter, witter, witter. Alright, picking on me, make the most of it. Charming. Right, anyway, back to what we're doing. I need to do my brakes, shit, I ain't even done my brakes, Rob. Break. Yeah. Why is it turning? Go about that way. We're going that way. Go away. Right. That's it. in about 240 nautical miles. She's still fussing with playing an ATC. Alright. I'm just ignoring you now. Hey dear. I do like sightseeing actually. What's the point of going somewhere when you can't sight sightsee?
Well, everybody says I'm always late. I'm fashionably late. Robert. Oh, there he is. Oh shit, that. Yeah, we're just flying over Southampton. That's where Titanic would have gone from, actually. Yeah, some Titanic mad. Yeah, I want to go to Belfast one day and see all Titanic stuff. Yeah, I were a bit pissed off when I went uh, for Valentine's weekend with my boyfriend at the time. He'd, he'd arranged everything, surprised me, etc. for Valentine's weekend. We went to Dublin, but we didn't go to bloody Belfast, did we? Even though it was just like probably about an hour's drive or something, an hour away or something. Of all the places I wanted to see, everyone, know, everyone who knows me is either um, New York or Belfast. What? You are... You really are way behind. Where the hell's that, Rob? Where's that little shit back there? So we've got a few turnings coming up, we'll just uh, sort this ND range out so you can see these turnings. Uh, what? Nearly off the south. Nearly off the coast of South. Oh shit. My bad. Are we. Are we going over France, Rob? Oh shit. That makes me look stupid now. I'm sure it's Southampton. Just cruising along and minding my own business. Oh bloody hell. God knows where I am but I know where I'm going, that's it. Anyway, did my um, brakes go? Manchester is about 320 miles ahead. Let's have a look then, smarty pants. Yeah, round about, whatever. All right, so we're at the we're at the north of France, people. I 
not move that a little bit. Is it the river Seine or something in France? You're supposed to know where you are, Rob. Bloody fool. Captain. Top, top. Alright, Mr. Know It All. I don't know, but I know that I'm in the air and the aircraft is stable. Turn to the left coming up, guys. Right, we're just about to turn uh, towards our like sort of final portion of the flight before we descend. Going to one two four decimal eight Jody one two three. Breast center Jody one two three flight level three seven zero. Jody one two three breast center radar contact. Continue to Balmy. We're already at Balmy. I won't fly over the English Channel, but we're coming to the south of the UK. All right, okay. Am I missing something here? Is Rob coming over to the UK and not coming to see me? I'll throw my dummy out like Joseph. Um, oh, 
guys over there. Bloody hell, it's a bit busy here. It's just disappeared over there. Oh, it's back. Far to go to UK right now. Uh, all right. Well, but, but to be honest, I, d I don't know how much it'd be actually. I don't know how much it'd be for me to like come to America. No, no idea. God knows where I'd stay. I'm still trying to plan a trip, a train trip towards the end of the summer to California. All right. Yeah. Cool. So that's. Um, California is that where I'm not too sure is is that is that where your mum lives Rob I can't remember I don't have a passport either <laughs> it's expired um, I have to renew mine yeah yeah I thought I'd say yeah yeah Rob yeah Bloody hell, that big well ages on train. <laughs> so we've all got expired passports. <laughs> oh god. Bloody hell, four days on train. Oh, nice sleeper room. Yeah, oh, yeah, I bet that's better, Rob, for you than last time. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Four days travelling to us. I could get probably to like <laughs> from here, I could get from here to like the middle of Spain if I drove obviously it's like bloody hell two thousand thirteen was the last time I flew um I think it would be far for me Daniel Oh, let's have a look at a curiosity. I've got my expired passport in my bag, it'll tell me. And then I can work out when I last went abroad. I think it were actually to Dublin, but obviously that's not bloody abroad, is it? So my passport expired in 2019. Um, I got it on 2009. So last time I probably went abroad was in about, I think it was like 2012, I think. Went to Mallorca. I wore it. 2011 or 2010 hang on I think it was like 2010 I was last abroad 
I need a holiday, God. It's been too long. But it's barring on your own. Last time, one, two, last time. Contact breath center on one two zero decimal one five. Good day. Last time it was too much noise. One two zero decimal one five. Jody one two three. Goodbye. Me, yeah, I need breath to get center, passport. Breath center, Jody one two three. Flight level three seven yeah. zero. I need to get Jody, passport. Jody one two three. Breath center radar. Contact continue to you below. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, I'd like to go, like, to America, but I don't know, it's just something I wouldn't want to do on my own. I'm one of these people that I'd rather share the experience with somebody. Um, you know, and I don't know, it's like, once I did get to America, I'd be like, where the hell do I stay? Where do I go? I'm not the best of people, um, you know. I like planning, but I don't know. I'd land at Heathrow, take a Selfie in the waiting area, then head on to Germany. <laughs> oh my god, that's just something you do, Rob. Bloody hell, fire! I went from Manchester to Washington DC. Oh, nice! Oh, I like that, Daniel. Wow, I love to do that. You know, like, do like a hop. Yeah. Ideally, I'd want to go to New York, stop over in New York for a few days, and then, like, maybe go somewhere else, um, and then back to the UK. Did you, like, stop over, Daniel, or were it non-stop bloody flying? Did you have, like, a few days in each place? was Rob. My brother got married in Hawaii but got family in Fairfax just outside Washington so stayed there in between. Oh nice. Nice. First ever flight was to Abu Dhabi in 2010. Jesus, wow. 
Wow, that was a long flight. Jesus Christ. My first ever flight was to Tenerife. Uh, the same flight we did the other day, the other week. That was my first time on an aeroplane in 1999. And then obviously went to Tenerife like every year. Up until um, when my granddad passed away. I'd have to go from here to Atlanta and then maybe I'd look out and get it straight flight to Heathrow. Yeah, nice, Heathrow. Yeah, my grand has been to Heathrow. Um, she had to go to Heathrow because it was like when it was the 9-11 attacks. She was meant to go to New York the morning it happened, but they they took him to Hawaii instead, and then that's when she got pickpocket. She got everything nicked, like passport, money, everything. So they had to get new passports to come home, and they could only fit them on. Um, a, a flight from Hawaii to um, Heathrow and then I think they had to get the bus back up here to Leeds oh nice New York yeah and send me pictures Robin make me jealous I don't know why, but I've always wanted to go to New York. I don't know why. But, yeah. I've always wanted to go to New York. My brother used to work in Abu Dhabi. He got us tickets for the Grand Bloody hell. Wow. Oh, nice British Airways. Nice. Oh, Boeing triple seven, nice. Or oh, Virgin Galactic, yeah, A three fifty, yeah. That's where my brother met his wife. Now they're in Hong Kong. Wow. So they live in Hong Kong. Wow. I'd love to go to Hong Kong. Yeah, and Tokyo, and you know, yeah. I'd love to go to Tokyo one day as well.
Right, two seconds guys, I need to take bloody hell. I need to open a window or something. Bloody hell. Two seconds guys. Yeah, eight hours, would it? Yeah. Well, I remember when we went for all. When did we go from now? We went from Manchester to um, Sanford, I think, in Florida, to go with an S. And that was about. I think that was about eight hours, seven, eight hours. Yeah, it is a long flight. Yeah, and then, then we, when we came back, we got caught in like the jet stream. And oh my god, the turbulence was, oh my god, I was absolutely shitting myself. Jody 1 2 3, contact London Centre on 118.475. Ah, I know I'm so blessed, so I don't get stuck in London. Going to 118.475, Jody 1 2 3. London Centre, Jody 1 2 3, flight level 370. Jody 1 2 3, London Centre, radar contact. Continue to Garmy. God, I need to get my jeans on two seconds. Uh, off, sorry guys. <laughs> it is sweaty, I'm sweaty guys. God, you don't need to know that, but yeah. It was around the same time to get to Abu Dhabi. Alright, it's seven hours. Bloody hell. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a long way, in it? Merely a uh, descent. <laughs> yeah, steady on, steady on. Yeah, steady on. I, I'm not stripping, I'm just saying. We need to take off layers and put thinner layers on because I'm absolutely sweating. Let's be honest. 
us Brits aren't used to this weather. And um, yeah, jeans, jeans had to come off because my god. Anyway, we've got the Disney shorts on now. Yes, Disney shorts. Nice. Alright, we're nearly at the uh, descent waypoint. So let's have a look at our notes. Yeah, 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 whatever. So we need to look at this. Yeah, steady on, Rob. Steady on. He loves it, really. Let's have a look at these. So, Pepe's flight level. One nine five above. So we'll go at about twenty thousand feet. About to fly over Cardiff. Nice. He is steady. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um so like that. Let's just write these down. Five hundred above. So we'll go down to ten and then that one that's that one. Nearly um I don't know where the hell I am. I'll probably buy Southampton now, Rob. Yeah, London's there. Little shit bag. Hey, uh, you're already talking. We're not descending yet, so that's all right. Just flying over our descent. Yeah, I'm descending um, after this uh, waypoint. This is around the time Jody really gets sassy, Daniel. Uh, define the sassy, Rob. What are you on about? Oh shit, why is it turning? I don't get sassy. What you on about, Rob? Right. <laughs> so we're over London, obviously. That's London. Heathrow, Gatwick. All that malarkey. Rob's over there. So yeah, I know we're at Southampton. Cause that's that little island below the UK. Um, what is it, Daniel? Guernsey, is it? Is it Guernsey? There's no wrong with me. Cheeky bugger. Cheeky sod. Absolute cheeky sod. Right, anyway, whatever. Let's get some altitude down. Center Jody one two three. Request flight level three four zero. She Jody can't one, two, stand three, it that she to took it off before me. Alright, oh, whatever. Descend and maintain flight ever. level three four zero Jody one two three.
Witter, witter, witter. That's all bloody men do is witter on. I just wanted to see London, I'm sightseeing. Center Jody 123. Request flight level 310. Jody 123 descend and maintain flight level 310. Descend and maintain flight level 310, Jody 123. Right, so we've got rid of that one, so we can click off that one. Oh, speaking of aeroplanes, uh, Daniel, are you watching a drama called Red Eye? Oh my god, absolutely brilliant on ITV. You need to watch it. It's been on for three weeks, we can watch them all on ITVX and oh my god they're really really good. Me and my grand have been watching them. It's on every Sunday but you can watch obviously it on catch up. Or you can watch them you know all together at the same time if you want to binge them. Yeah, it's really good. It's about an aeroplane and obviously there's like a who done it on aeroplane so it's really good. I don't Center really Jody want. Alright, fair enough. Request fair flight fair level enough. 280. Jody 123 descend and maintain flight level 280. Descend and maintain fair flight enough. level 280, Jody 123. That little shit descended. There he is. Is our Robert? There he is. Is descending. Center Jody 123. Request flight level 230. Are we there yet? Jody Rob. 123 descend and maintain flight level 230. Descend and maintain flight level 230, Jody 123. Rob, are we there yet? Oh shit, bag, what crib.
if you're on my plane, Daniel, you might get there quicker. Little shitbag, absolute arsehole. Excuse my language, people. Little shitbag. Oh my god, it's got dark. No, no, I'm not getting sassy, I'm just being, um, what's the word? Don't take no shit. Yeah, it does it to me, well, um, Daniel is a bad influence. Center Jody one two three. Request flight level two zero zero. Jody one two three descend and maintain flight level two zero zero. Shit. Descend and maintain flight level two zero zero. Jody one two three. Why am I turning, please? I will ask the fourth house. London Center Jody one two three. Request sixteen thousand feet. Jody one two three descend and maintain sixteen thousand feet. Descend and maintain sixteen thousand feet, Jody one two three. Let's get rid of the altimeter. Where is Robert? Is there? Are we gonna make it for sunset, Rob?
Oh, there's a pit there as well. for another 3,000 feet. London Center Jody 123. Request 13,000 feet. Jody Cheeky one, two, bugger. Three, and maintain 13,000 feet. Cheeky bugger. Descend and maintain 13,000 feet Jody 123. Um, will we make it before sunset, Rob? Was the question. A cheeky bugger said, Rob might, saying, Jody takes a time. Well, it has to be done right. Cheeky bugger. Off. Climb and maintain flight level two zero zero Jody one two three. No. No, thank you. I'm not climbing. I'm just staying here till I get further instruction. What do we say, Rob? Piss off. <laughs> London Center Jody 123. Request 10,000 feet. Jody 1, 2, 3, descend and maintain 1, 0, feet. Descend and maintain 1, 0, feet, Jody 1, 2, 3. Jody 1, 2, 3, climb and maintain no, flight level no, 190. No. Climb and maintain flight level 190, Jody 1, 2, 3. Jody 1, 2, 3, climb and maintain flight level 200. Climb and maintain flight level 200, Jody 123. Nah. I don't think so, love. Uh... 
I don't think so. I'm not climbing because by the time we climb, it's time to come down so they can sod off, is my answer. Jody one two three, please expedite no, climb you. level two zero zero. No, thank you. Oh, look at Rob. It's going down to final altitude. The smart ass. Almost near Wrexham. Uh, God knows where that is, Rob. God knows. I've heard of Wrexham, but yeah, near Manchester, whatever. Jody, one, two, three. Please expedite your climb flight level. Oh, yeah, zero. Liverpool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flaps Wrexham is like on the border between England and Wales. Oh, right, okay. <coughs> you know, my geography is not good. Rob's going down to final altitude. God knows what I'm going on. Let me have a look what my final altitude is. 3,000 feet. Jody, one, two, three. Please expedite your climb flight level. Two, zero, zero. No. No, 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 no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Jody, one, two, three. Contact Manchester Center. Hey. Manchester, Rob. Like finally. Going to one one eight decimal seven seven five. Jody one two three. Manchester Center. Jody one two three is at one zero thousand feet. Climbing flight level no, two I'm zero not zero. I'm in love. Jody one two three. Manchester Center. Altimeter three zero decimal two four. Radar contact. Continue to elbows. No, I'm not climbing. <laughs> yeah, whatever, Rob. A little shit bag. Rob's going down to final altitude. Approach altitude. Got a turn coming up. I'll just wait for ATC to pipe up. Jody one two three, please expedite your climb no, flight level two you. zero zero.
Manchester Center, Jody 123. Request 8,000 feet. Jody 123, climb and maintain flight level 200. Oh, no. No, thank you. Tell me to rock. Climb and maintain flight level 200. No. Expect 8,000 feet, Jody 123. No. What is he bloody posted now? Little shit bag. All right. <laughs> just flying along, getting ready to land. Well, I'm just flying along, getting ready to land. For just like a little bit back. Bag. Where is it? Oh, it's sunset in Rob. Jody one two three, please uh, expedite your climb you. flight level two zero zero. I'm staying right here. About to turn slightly left, then it should pipe up and tell us what to do. Dumbass. Looks like it's going to be dark by the time you land. Seems odd. Might be. Jody one two three, two. please expedite your climb flight level two zero zero. All right. Likely it'll be early tomorrow morning when she lands. Cheeky sod. Absolute cheek of it. Well, we get there in one piece. I'm just taking the more scenic route. So I get more hours. Come on, pipe up, I need to drop landing now. Jody one two three, please expedite nope. your climb flight level two zero zero. Nope, 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 nope. No thank you. Thank you. 
two tree, please expedite your climb flight level two zero zero. Jody 1 2 tree, please expedite your climb flight level 200. What's he say now? I should have looked for the Liverpool. Oh yeah, he could have, dumbass. Jody Do one, it two, now, three, Rob. Expedite your climb flight level two zero zero. Oh damn, it's too late. Jody one two tree climb and maintain fourteen thousand feet. No car. I'm staying here. Climb and maintain fourteen thousand feet, Jody one two tree. Could have flew over the stadium, Rob. Dumbass. So, where is Robert? Where is he? Where are you, Rob? <coughs> I don't see him. Where have you gone, Rob? Oh well, it's, prob it's probably crashed somewhere, guys. Oops. Oh dear. Oh, Rob's there. Your climb 14, feet. Rob's there. I can see him. I could have taken a photo and sent it to Joseph. Yeah, he could have, Rob. Yeah. Oh, well. Decimal zero zero five, Jody one two tree. Goodbye. Manchester approach, Jody one two tree is passing oh, nine thousand nine hundred feet, climbing fourteen thousand feet. Jody oh. one two tree, Manchester approach altimeter tree zero decimal two five radar contact continue to Dane. Alpha. Ah, 
I can't go any lower. I'll have to wait here till they stop pissing about. You'll have to look out for West Ham Stadium, it's only flying over London. Yeah, it'd like that. What the hell? Johnny one two three, please expedite your climb fourteen thousand feet. Yeah, it'd like that, um Daniel. Why is it every time I approach something goes wrong with bloody autopilot? That. that looks like we're going in like we're going past the airport and then looping round. Johnny one two three, please expedite your climb fourteen thousand uh, feet. So the airport's back in front of us. One, two, three, you are one, four miles southeast. That Descend and maintain 6,000 feet. Expect ILS runway zero, 05 left approach by a Mike Charlie Tango transition. Clear to Mike Charlie Tango. Jody, one, two, three, descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Oh my god, it's all at once now. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Expect ILS runway zero, 05 left approach via Mike Charlie Tango transition. Clear to Mike Charlie Tango, Jody, one, two, three. Is it pushing me that side for? What you might make it what? Before the sun goes down. God knows what fucking wrong with this. Ah, right, okay. Yeah. There's Rob. Rob's there. Rob! Let me see him. Little shitbag. What's wrong with my flight path? I don't know why it's doing that. Because I'm way out. It's telling me it's turning me. Oh well, let me let me just try and get this down. Compensating for that bend that's coming up. Rob! Where's Robert? Hey up, Rob! There's Manchester Airport people.
little plane, how the plane will turn back now towards the airport, otherwise we're screwed. Our runway behind us, so we're gonna turn shortly and then back round <coughs> to line up. Should be turning. Come on, plane. Should be turning. Surely to God. Yes. Landing gear. Let's check auto brakes on. Yes. Speed brake armed. Yes. this approach because why am I going all the way out to come back? Yeah, that's a bit shit that. Oh well. We'll get there in one piece, I hope. Should be turning after we get to this waypoint. We should make a sharp turn. Yes, we're making a sharp turn now. Oh, a nice late there. I need to get all the way around. Hit that LS button. I bet, I bet Rob's saying, What the hell is she doing? I'm landing, Rob. I've sort of screwed up with this one. But it's alright. It's fine, we'll get there. We're sort of screwed up with this one, Rob, so... 
My bad. So the airport is over there. So that should say uh, zero five left. Yeah, that's correct. Probably be saying, where the bloody hell is she? I'm coming, Rob. Go get coffees in. Well, hot chocolate for me. Oh, Rob will be at lounge now, whinging, saying, where the bloody hell is she? Turning on vinyl. Ah, oh, so am I, Rob. Southwest inbound ILS runway 05 left approach. Jody 123, Manchester Tower. Altimeter 30 decimal 27, wind 301 at 5. Cleared Why ILS it? runway 05 uh, left approach. Jody 123, wind 301 at 5. Cleared to land runway 05 left. Cleared to land, I can see Rob. Clear to land Love runway it. zero five left Jody one two three. Oh, I might be landing at the same time, Rob. Fingers crossed everybody, I think I'll get up in a few minutes and drive some One train. Oh nice, trains. Rob's going down. Might be at the same time. Oh shit, Rob are we on the same runway? I don't, oh, no. don't know if you're on the same one. Well if you are, shift out where. I'm coming in. Whoa, what the 
Fucking hell, that. Oh my god, there's a plane there. Ignore the plane, oh, ignore the plane. He's pushing in. Oh my god. 400. Three hundred. Oh shit, there's a crosswind. Fuck. One hundred. Sixty, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard. Try it. Whoa. That was good, Rob. We, we like crashed it to each other. We met each other on the runway. Going to 121 one decimal 855, five, Jody 123. That's the first time ever we've landed at the same time and we've like met each other on the runway, Rob. I need to see what we're going to now. Manchester yes. ground Jody 123 request taxi to the gate. Jody 123 taxi to gate 25 using taxiway hotel Juliet Kilo Bravo Papa Lima. Taxi to gate 25 via taxiway hotel Juliet Kilo Bravo Papa Lima Jody 123. It's still light and we made it. Oh, only just look at that sunset. Wow. I called the tower. <laughs> collision, 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 Rob. Shit, I didn't know that were ha that were gonna happen. Yeah, that was quite good that we met each other on the wrong way. That's never really happened that. See that Danielle, she landed the same runway as me to cause a crash. Uh, who caused the crash? If I remember rightly, I might have touched down before you, so I ran right away. Uh, looks like we're going over here. 
That's the fact I get for teaching her how to fly. <laughs> Alright. God, it's nearly, I've just thought of it, Rob, it's nearly been a year since I've been flying. I got it in June last year. So, I've, I've been flying nearly a year. It was middle of June, I think, we got it. Well, I got it. Bloody hell. We'll have to do a one year anniversary, Rob. There is a little shit there. Yeah, time flies, it does. Yeah, I've been flying a year. Remember when I got it? It took fucking ages to download on laptop. So I've nearly had my Xbox a year. Yeah. Because I did it on computer first. And then I thought, oh, screw this, we all updates and stuff, and I got Xbox about wait, a month later or something. We're going in here, Rob. Yeah, I enjoyed that flight and, you know, enjoyed, even though it was a crash, uh, we met each other on the runway from. Where is it? Is there? Oh, come on. Yeah, that guy who was landing in front of me, who came out of nowhere, he put me off. And then I thought, where's Rob? And then I saw you, Rob, and I'm like, oh my god, he's coming, he's getting on the same runway as me. So yeah, that's when um, I saw you. Um, no respect for the captain. Uh, well, no he hasn't. No he hasn't. No, because I'm the captain. So, oh, 25. Right, um, we'll get this, um, yes, we'll get all the luggage, Rob, like what we do. Uh, ground services, power Manchester supply. Ground Jody 123, could you please send a ground power unit? Jody 123, a ground power unit is on the road. And Manchester the ground Jody 123, could you please send the baggage? Jody 123 baggage is on the way. Manchester ground Jody 123, could you please send the catering truck? Jody 123, the catering truck is on the road. Oh, shit. Shit, there we go. Right, there we go. Where's Robert? Is he is he there? Is he there? Yes, good lad, good lad. Right, um let's go out to photo mode, Rob. Photo mode. Um 
showcase. See if we can get both of us in this shot. That way. That way. I hope we shake that was wrong. Right, we'll, we'll have that, I think, Rob. So, yeah, that was a flight from uh, Madrid to Manchester, guys. Um, yeah, enjoyed that one. Let me just get this picture for the Discord saying that we made it in one piece. But of course we made it, of course we made it, no messing about, but it is dark now, so we have made it. There we are, Rob, we've got it now. Um, so yeah, many thanks to Rob again for flying with me, even though he is a pain in the ass, And even though he did crash land into me, uh, we met on the runway, didn't we, Rob? Um, so yeah, that's it everyone, um, not too sure when I'll be back, maybe at the weekend, um, I'll do the upload onto YouTube so you can watch this again uh, tomorrow, um, but yeah, apart from that guys, uh, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, morning, wherever you are. Uh, but yeah, here we are Rob, we are in Manchester. No worries Daniel, no worries, thanks for popping in. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll upload this video and then we'll get it sorted. But yeah, take care guys, we'll get the, uh, we'll get our breakdown. So, we have um we have two hours sixteen minutes so more more time in the um a three a three twenty so yeah take care guys bye for now bye guys